To start building the Flappy Toucan game, you're going to need Scratch, so let's get it loaded up. There it is, and we'll select the option to create. When you start Scratch, you get this little tutorial window, which is actually quite useful. There's some good tutorials in there, but we don't need that for this project. So I'm just going to close it down. And you can see I've got my starting sprite here, the cat. I don't want a cat, I want a toucan. So I'm going to start by swapping the sprite. Let's get rid of him. Just click on this cross here. And I'm going to use this option to choose a sprite. I'm looking for a bird, so I'm going to choose the animals category. And there's my toucan. And I can see he's got a number of costumes which will come in useful later on. Let's get the toucan on there. He's a little bit big, so I'm just going to reduce him to a little over half size. Let's make it 60% of the original size. That looks about right. Now the next thing I'm going to do is create some obstacles. A clump of trees. Anything that you want to control with a program needs to be a sprite. So I'm going to add another sprite. Let's see if I can find some trees. Choose a sprite. And I can't see a clump of trees, but I can see a single tree. So that will do fine for now. I'm going to edit this tree and turn it into a little group of trees. And I can do that by clicking on Costumes. And you can see here I've got a nice little editing tool. In fact, here I can see that this tree is made up of lots of individual objects, which will come in useful in a minute. But for now, I'm going to group all of those objects together. And then I'm going to copy and paste. So now I've got two trees. And because this is a group, I can resize them together. Let's paste again. There's another tree. This is all part of the same sprite. Paste again. And you can see I'm rapidly building up a clump of different size trees. Let's have one more tree. And there's my little obstacle, my clump of trees. I'm going to ungroup this one so I can copy these bits individually. And I'm just using my shift key to select several pieces at the same time. So copy, paste, and I'll do another paste. And I just want to get these trees looking like a proper impenetrable clump that my toucan can't fly through. And I'm happy with that. So that's my first obstacle. If I come over to here, I can move it around, get into position, and I can even resize it a bit here if I want to. I think I'll just shrink it down to about 70% of the original size. There we go. And we're going to write a program to get that scrolling across the screen. I want another obstacle at the top. So I'm going to add another tree sprite. And I'm going to edit this one as well, but I'm going to turn it upside down. So let's just group everything together again. And I can use this option, flip vertical so it looks as though it's hanging from the top. In fact, thinking about it, I don't really need the tree trunk, so let's ungroup that, and we'll just get rid of that tree trunk. I just want the leaves. Okay, and I can copy those, paste, and I'm building myself a little obstacle for the top. Remember, we're in a jungle, it's a very busy jungle, so there's all sorts of stuff dangling from above as well. That's my obstacle above. And if I want to, I can change the position here. I need a gap that the two can, can fly through. I don't want it to be too big though. There we go. Now there's something else I want is a floor. I need some kind of ground here and I want a green top as well. Anything that the two can touches that isn't the background will cause it to crash. Let's just move to backdrops. And the first thing I want is a white background. I know it looks white over here but it's actually transparent. So I'm going to put a big white rectangle here. You can choose any colour you like. It could be sky blue if you want. Or you could have a nighttime scene and you could make it black. What's important is that we have some colour 
for the background. So I'm going to go for a white rectangle. Let's just draw the rectangle first of all. I don't need an outline. That's what this little symbol means here. There's no outline color at all. And I'm going to change the fill color to white. Okay, so that's the sky. Now I want another rectangle across the floor. So I'm going to draw myself a second rectangle. Before I do, let's just change the fill color. And I'm going to go for a sort of a brownish, greenish color. Uh, something like... Not very happy with this color, but I'll show you something clever I can do about that in just a moment. Let's just get that rectangle on there. Not too big. And that's the floor. Now really what I'd like is this to be the same colour as the leaves of the trees. So I'm going to get a bit clever now. Let's switch back to these trees. I'll select the leaves. Let's just ungroup them. And I'm going to grab one of these bits of foliage and I'm going to copy that. And now I'm going to switch back to the background. And I'm going to paste it on the background. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want the floor to be the same colour. So if I select the floor, go to the colours, and there's a little eyedropper here, look. If I click on the eyedropper, hold it over that foliage, click on it, and my floor is now the same colour. I don't need this thing anymore, so I'll get rid of it. And that's my floor. That looks quite good, actually, over here. Now I want something similar at the top, so let's go back to backdrops. Let's just copy that block, copy, paste, and put my copy at the top. And there we have it, that's my jungle in place. Now I'll say again, it's very important, let's make this a little bit bigger actually, it's very important that you have a background which is the same colour. Really important because what we're going to do is write a program to say if this toucan touches something which isn't the colour of the background, then the toucan will crash. You can make the background any colour you like, but I'm just going to stick with white for now. And I'm just making sure that the toucan can get through there. So I've nearly got my obstacles in place. I need one more obstacle, and that's a balloon. Yes, there's a party going on in this jungle. And every now and then, a balloon is going to pop into view. Let's not make it too big. And if the toucan touches the balloon, that'll crash him as well. OK, so I've got my toucan. I've got my obstacles. I've got my background. I'm going to save this and I'll write some code later. If you've got a Scratch account, it'll save it on the Scratch server. But if you haven't got a Scratch account, you can just select File save to your computer and what that will do is save a file in your downloads folder let's just take a look show in folder and you can see here I've got a file called scratch project sb3 you've got no control over the name of the file or where it goes but you can rename it you can see I've done this before already which is why I've got something here and I've renamed it already so let's just change the name of this And I can drag that into a different folder if I want to. Okay, so next time I'm going to show you how to get things moving.